Hi, I'm Chef Ravina. I'm the founder of Yogi Sattva Cafe in Mumbai. Uh, I'm a health food chef and I specialize in making healthy food tasty. I'm really sorry I've taken so long to come back to my YouTube channel. A lot of different things have happened in life that required my focus and attention, so I couldn't commit to this fully. But hopefully this time I'm super consistent. What will really motivate me is if you hit the subscribe button below uh, because then I know that you'll be watching my content and that'll you know keep me going. So today we're gonna make a really, really fun appetizer. Now this appetizer is great when you're short on time and you really also wanna impress your guests. So they are avocado crostinis that are cut in star shape with a little bit of feta cheese mixed in and something more. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my bread and cut it into these star shaped pieces. So you can use any bread, um, you know, sourdough, gluten-free sourdough. Uh, you can also just use white or brown bread. It's completely up to you. So what I'm going to do is use this cookie cutter and cut out some star shaped pieces. Now, with the leftover bread, you absolutely do not have to worry. Um, you can just chop it up and, you know, fry them in a little oil and use them as croutons for your soup. They can go as croutons on top of a salad. So please, please do not waste it. You can also pulse it in a blender and make bread crumbs out of it and coat it for anything that you're trying to make crispy, like a tikki or a falafel. So, don't worry about the bread that's left over. There are 101 ways to use it and I will share some tips with you in the caption below. So once my star-shaped bread is ready, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. You can go ahead and put this in the oven. So very low temperature, you're just going to do 160C for about you know maybe 10 minutes. Or if you have the toast function which goes on for 5 minutes, please you can use that as well. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and make my guacamole dip to go on top of it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a bowl, grab a ripe avocado. Um, Haas avocados work best for this. I would love to recommend Indian avocados, but unfortunately they just don't cut it in terms of flavor and consistency. So please do buy an imported one. Yes, it is more expensive and I, and I know that you know it's a pinch a little bit to the pocket, but try going to your local markets, which are on like Pali Hill if you're in Mumbai, uh, or any like vendor on the street because they give way better and competitive prices versus a grocery store. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is open my avocado. So just go around so it's easy. And then you literally just twist and open. Look at how beautifully ripe that is. The next thing that I'm going to do is crisscross sections. So don't cut in too deep and always keep your knife at an angle. So this is easy to do. Same thing for around the seed. Just follow the same pattern crisscross. Using a spoon, I'm going to scoop that out completely. Then scoop around the seed. The next thing I'm going to do is add some tomato. So it's just one regular tomato chopped some chopped onion again it's one onion that I've chopped pinch of salt not too much because I'm also adding feta cheese which is very salty the next thing that I'm gonna add is the juice of one lemon so give that a good mix while you're doing that, just mash the avocado a little bit. I like having avocado a little bit chunky, but I leave the consistency up to you. So I'm not overly mashing it, still keeping some pieces. 
pieces. So our dip is finally ready. I'm just going to give it a taste to make sure the salt is good. Tasting yum. Now I haven't overly salted this because I'm going to do a garnish of crumbled feta cheese on top. So please, by all means, uh, you know, if you're not using feta cheese, adjust the salt in this. But if you are, please keep the salt less because then feta cheese will also add that salty element. Uh, my bread is ready. It's completely toasted. So I'm going to bring it out. This bread looks beautiful. I love the little cute star shape and it's ready. So I'm going to put this on a platter. The next thing that I'm going to do is add the guacamole. I'm just adding some in the center so the next thing that I'm gonna do is add some crumbled feta cheese on top this feta cheese is specifically from Yogi Sattva cafe we make it in-house it's entirely plant-based and vegan you're welcome to use regular feta cheese it will work really well with this appetizer Crumble it and add a little bit on top. So a little goes a long way. I don't need too much. And the last thing that I'm going to do is add some fresh pea shoots. So pea shoots work as a great garnish and also provide like a lot of micronutrients, great amount of flavor. And finally, this is entirely optional um, because this feta cheese is soaked in this chili garlic oil that we make at the cafe I'm gonna do a drizzle on top you can do a little bit of chili oil you can also do a little bit of an olive oil drizzle whatever you have at home works great so just a small drizzle and there you have it these beautiful star shaped crostini guacamole and feta cheese bites perfect appetizer for any party and when you're short on time Mmm, so good, so easy. Try it today.